clear the aisle, please. The rabbit's coming down the aisle.
I would especially like to thank Rabbi Friedler, Ms. Fish, Rabbi Fraler, and our teachers here at Ezra who truly strive and make it their mission to ensure their students' happiness. The teachers really dedicate a lot of their own personal time to make sure that we are getting the best high school experience. They stay up all night and they work all day and yet greet us with a smile every morning. Always more to do and more to learn. I speak on behalf of a staff that is super proud of the people you have become. We know that you are ready to embark on the right journey with purpose heading towards success. Mazal Tov on this tremendous milestone. Okay, we have two student speakers. Uh, first up, our class representative, who also this year is the valedictorian, Josh Mutai. for guiding me in this right path and making sure that I stay on that path. I wouldn't be where I am or who I am without the support of my family. Anyone who knows me personally knows that I love a good time. I love living in the moment and I love cracking jokes and making people smile. Two years ago, a handful of my friends and I were sitting at a local spot that we did on the regular after school. We were sitting, laughing, and enjoying our time when the owner came up to us and asked us what school we go to. Well, we replied and told him that we go to Ezra Academy. And he stood there and smiled back at us and told us something that I didn't understand until only a couple minutes ago. He told us, he told us, you guys remind me of when I was a teenager and me and my friends used to go out and have a good time. He told us, enjoy these moments. Don't take them for granted because it'll be over before you know it. And of course, as sophomores, we were oblivious to the idea that these fun moment, moments have a time limit. But now, standing here with my cap and gown, I realized how precious those moments really were, and how true words couldn't have been spoken. My final message to the senior class is, make life meaningful. Life is short. Don't let good moments pass you by. Cherish every single moment you have, because it could be done and over with just as fast as our four years here at Ezra. I'm grateful we're all as close as we are, and I've really had the most amazing time and shared the most beautiful memories with each and every one. Left in the corner over there, there's a sign that says 255, and that is the number of days since that horrible day, October 7th, that is still affecting us in a major, major way. And before we continue the program, I think it would be appropriate for us to pause, and even though we're involved in a very happy, joyous moment, to realize that there are many, many of our brothers and sisters in Eretz Israel who are having a very difficult time whether they have children in the army fighting in Gaza, whether they are orphans, whether they are widows, whether they are people who have hostages still sitting there, I think it would be appropriate for us to pause and say one chapter of Tehillim together 
in order to keep that in mind. Share my love. Okay, and now we are ready for that moment. We are ready to give it out. Again, our tradition is we call up each graduate and we're going to read some things. I have not seen any of these yet. I have not written them. So I'm going to be just as surprised as the graduates will be. I'd like to call up Aaron Abramov. Aaron's warmth and kindness have made a lasting impact on our community. His growth-oriented mindset and willingness to help others are an inspiration to us all. Congratulations, Aaron, on your graduation. May your future be filled with continued growth, success, and joy. Aaron is the recipient of the Senna Libra Kamri Award, the Chumash Award, the Gemara Award, and the Rosh Kola Award. ambitious and has a bright future in front of her. Just like your brothers alone and Nate, you have, left, you have left us a memorable impression in Israel. May Hashem guide you on your endeavors, especially as you pursue, pursue your goal of learning in seminary in Nancy Israel next year. Esti is the recipient of the Senate Leroy Comrade Award. Congratulations, Esti. <laughs> Position made her a pleasure to have in the classroom. She's highly motivated. We all know that when she puts her mind to something, there's nothing she cannot achieve. Devorah's religious and personal growth is evident in the wonderful person she has become. We're very proud of Devorah and we'll be eagerly watching to see how much she will accomplish in her life. Knowledge. 
asks penetrating questions and is growing spiritually. As a recent transfer into the class, she's left an indelible mark of inspiration. She gets along with everybody and is very giving. But great qualities make her an outstanding person. We expect great things from her. And Baruch Hashem, you left us now. Danielle and self-confident, has a strong personality and a sense of humor. Reminds us a little of Rachel. She's devoted, Rachel, you hear? Who's Rachel? She's devoted to her friends and stands up for what she believes. Abby is a bright, intelligent, and capable young lady. She has grown an incredible amount in her time at Ezra. Abby is an independent thinker and shares her knowledge of class discussions with penetrating questions. She's sincere, reliable, and achieves whatever she applies herself to. Rachel Heinrich. hard worker, puts a heart in whatever she does. Rachel is also very sincere, loyal to her friends and kind. Everyone gravitates to Amy. Sarah is full of vitality and energy. Always thirsting for more knowledge, she's been a true pleasure to have in class. She carries herself with true Sibchan Tachayim. Sarah is always eager to help in any way that she can, bringing everyone to save a pen yafo, to smile. And in turn, she's loved amongst all her peers and teaches a lot. Adam was a kind of And Adam put his own cheering squad for that. Although Adam started with us later in his high school career, we've come to know him well. He's a student who cares about his grades and is always the one to hound teachers before and after the test to make sure he gets it. five years ago and has grown incredibly in his studies. He has a deep understanding of music from many different cultures and his background in history is amazing as he's familiar with the last thousand years of world history to the degree that we think he actually lived through it. But more recently, Rafi was involved in incredible Torah studies. Shoshana Picasso. Finds her. Her kindness and warmth beautify every room that she enters. With a positive outlook on life, she always sees the glass half full. Shoshana is, always, is also responsible, and highly intelligent, as she learns from all those around her. She gives back. She gave back this year as the editor in chief of the yearbook, and spent countless hours dedicating her time to create memories for her classmates. <laughs> Sarita Rafaela. Sarita is wise beyond her years. She's one who invests in her efforts to reach every goal she sets out for herself. Sarita is intelligent, motivated, and responsible. Her insights, questions, and, more, and mere presence enhance both the classroom and the school as a whole. She's represented the Ezra Legal Eagles in courtrooms around the city this year as she helped lead the mock trial team to the semifinals. That's final four out of 96 schools. Josh Simhaya. Josh came to Ezra Public School as an honor student. He quickly mastered the religious subjects of Humash, Mishnah, and Dinim, and for the next three years continued to do the same. Josh is always ready to do something on behalf of his class, equal to the task of a difficult question. Nicole Steyer. <laughs> Nicole has a heart of gold. Second generation Ezra student. Remember her mom, Esther. Where are you, Esther? She stood up, not in this shul, she stood up somewhere else a bunch of years ago. Uh, Nicole lights up every room that she enters as she greets everyone with a smile. She epitomizes chesed with a big giving hand and an even bigger heart. She's loved by both her peers and teachers alike. Nicole builds with tremendous interest into each lesson. Yeah. Now we specifically scheduled graduation for a Tuesday to ensure that Orwin would actually be here. <laughs> Tuesdays was his best day. Despite his sparse attendance this year, but with his brains, Owen was still able to succeed academically. All this, despite having had major surgery, 
two years ago. We wish Ho an incredible success in the future as we remember his Midon Tovo, his Dara Theretz, and his good character. And those are our graduates. And now I'd like to call upon our team, Rabbi Eli Freyla, to address the graduates. Okay, we are about to finish our graduation ceremony. Uh, please do not block the aisles as the graduates exit. Um, there are refreshments available in the back after the graduates have exited. I'd like to ask the graduates to rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2024.
его мама, что ли? Это Илья у мама? Да? Who? Why are you talking? I guess they don't give coffee here. Что, что мы делаем? Мы снегчим. 